We need mindset mastery to control our focus in a world that's busy trying to distract us. This is an example of top-down versus bottom-up processing. When it's bottom-up, the information is coming into you, you are taking it on board, putting it together to see what you see. This is how our biases operate, when we go looking for a solution. We need mindset mastery for productivity. When we have a bias running the way that we think, we look for a solution, we look for a situation that is simply not there. We see the world as we are, not as it is. When we are angry, when we are frustrated, when we are stressed, we will see our colleagues that way. Until we can master our mind, we'll never be able to master our day. The biggest distraction we have in the workplace today is the mental noise in our head. We need mindset mastery for concentration. The modern world has been set up to distract us. You know what it's like. You're there, you get to work, 8.30, you got your coffee, you just want to get this email out. You start working and out of the corner of your eye, there's people walking past. And every time you see one of these people, it's like playing whack-a-mole, whack! Your attention is taken off task. You're working away and a colleague drops by to discuss something that's important to them. Whack! You pretend your attention there. Working away and an email from the boss comes in. Better put my attention there. Whack! My goodness, I've got to prepare for the 10 a.m. meeting that started five minutes ago. Whack! Your attention goes to there. And that conversation from last night keeps coming up. Whack! The troubles the kids are having at school. Whack! Why did I have that piece of cake for morning tea? Why did you eat that? Why did you do that? You're no good. You're useless. You'll never lose that weight, you fatty boomba. Whack! Whack, whack, and all you're trying to do is get an email out. I saw Darren last year in a conference. He was superb. Darren is very, very funny. Everyone I spoke to afterwards said, yep, that's one of the best presentations we've heard. The culture of on-demand entertainment has killed our ability to focus. Why is it that we can focus for five episodes straight on Saturday night on the one show, yet for five minutes at work Monday morning we just can't do it? When we outsource our attention to something outside of us, like Netflix, we kill our ability to have it in-house. <laughs> Simply removing the phone doesn't remove the desire to check it because we've all experienced it. Because every thought that we ever have is experienced in the body. It's easy to spot the big ones. Pride, love, anger, fear, excitement but they're there for every other emotion as well. They have to be. If they weren't there, how would the body know what to do in any given situation? Unfortunately, we ignore most of those energetic sensations that we experience in the body. We miss out on half of the conversation. The minute that Darren gets on the stage, he's so engaging that you go, wow, okay, let's just give me everything you've got so I can get the best out of your experience. Don't own it. Oh, I always feel nervous around presentations. What's that, your new daily affirmation? It was Carl Jung. He said, until we make the unconscious conscious, it will continually turn up in our life and we will simply call it fate. When we simply experience these energetic sensations, we are enabling the unconscious to become conscious. That feeling, that energetic sensation you're experiencing, it's not immune from the law of impermanence. It too will fade. When we can master our mindset, we're able to turn up as the best version of ourselves. 